Okay, at the request of the board, we put together just a, a brief slideshow, um, kind of informative, and some of the information will be duplicative to what anyone at the Q&A rezoning meetings <coughs> might have seen. I'm going to show you some colorized zoning maps, talk about the different uses that are and aren't allowed in, in particularly in the districts that uh, are affected or in the vicinity of the Q&A landscaping property. So. What you have on the screen in front of you right now is a, a colorized version of our zoning map to orient you here. This is Brownsville Road right here. This is Route 88 right down here. Of course, the intersection that come together right there. A um, couple points that I want to highlight out. This, this, this shows the, the current zoning configuration, uh, what's going on up here right now. This, what you see in green, is the SD district with an MUD overlay. Now SD stands for Special Development, MUD stands for Mixed Use Development. Now, SD uh, by the ordinance was established over various areas of the township that were things such as mine refuse areas, uh, ash flash piles, different uh, just portions of the township that were of that character. The MUD created at some point in time is only an overlay that's allowed in those SD areas and the MUD um, allows for mixed use development. In particular, I, my opinion is I think it was probably established to encourage redevelopment and reclamation of those nastier areas of the township, such as the coal refuse area. So you would recognize this site because this is where the Advanced Auto Parts is. Uh, this is where there's a there's an indoor recreation facility up there right now. Um, of course, a lot of this property here was was and, and kind of still is some of the old goonie piles from when this was a coal refuse area so that's the green area right here uh, now you'll see this pink area of c2 uh, so a lot of this happened about the same time this area got the, the mud got expanded in here to the limits of basically that coal refuse area dcs acquisitions property over here this is the union gardens property uh, rezone c2 of course you've heard some talk about that as well uh, and then to move on a little farther, let's see if I come down this way. This area right now, it's labeled C2, but this is actually RD. You'll see it in pencil on there, Scarmazy PRD. This is Highland Village. So this was originally C2, uh, was rezoned RD to allow their residential plan to go in. Tractor supply was just shown, which will be down here in the C2 district along Route 88. Now, Sean, if you flip to the next slide, little red line that I drew around, and this is approximately uh, the area the Q&A is looking at. And if you attended any of the hearings, you know that there are currently three zoning districts uh, that uh, Q&A owns. There's the RD portion right here, which is about 40% of the property, the R1 and the R3. Uh, now, what the board's going to have in front of them tonight, I believe, will be a decision on this rezoning. So I'll flip to the next slide, which will be to zone that C2 if they so choose. That's what the applicants requested. So this entire area right here will now be a, a contiguous C2 district. So just to kind of show that on a map so folks who maybe weren't at the hearings but are here at tonight's meeting, uh, the board asked me to present this to you. Now the next thing I want to go to, if we can flip to the next okay. slide. You got it all um, he asked me just to talk through some of the uses that are allowable in the three districts that are on Q&A property right now, RD, R1, R3. So in yellow, I'm just gonna read off those uses that are allowed right now. Then I'll come back through again and I'll talk about C2. What you see in blue are those things that are allowed in C2. Now some of them, such as an animal hospital, permitted use in RD, also a special exception <coughs> in a C2. Um, so I, I'm not gonna go back and double up, I'll just tell you the blue ones that are uh, C2 when we come back through. So there's. There's three types of uses, and just to kind of give you a little more information, there's a permitted use, a conditional use, and a special exception. All of these are technically permitted uses. You just have to go through different procedures to get them approved. If you see an N on this list, it's not permitted. Uh, no way, no how. Uh, but a P, a CU, and an SE, those are all permitted uses, essentially. So I'm not going to make a distinction between them as we go through the list. Uh, so I'll read off this. Uh, accessory uses customarily incidental to on the same lot with any permitted use, conditional use, or use by special exception authorized in the district. Agriculture, animal hospital, boarding stable, most likely. 
in the Jamie before we yes, go further. This what you're saying now is what currently could go in this proposed parcel in the R D district as it sits right now. That's correct. So what I'm reading off this list right now is what's allowed in either of these three, R D R one, R three, which is what that property currently is. There's there's pieces of it in each one. So any either one of these that I'm reading could go on a portion of that property. Continuing with that list, we've got cemetery, church, commercial communications tower, conversion apartment, daycare center, daycare <coughs> center, or preschool facility in a church or school, essential services. Excuse me, Jamie, can you define essential services? Sure. Essential services, um, well, to give you the strict definition, I'd have to look at our zoning ordinance, but basically that's uh, anything that uh, is necessary for the of like life and your and the services and things you need to live your life so that could be uh, utilities it could be uh, expanded to things such as public safety uh, communications uh, essential services or the, the stuff that our community needs as a whole to live our lives um, in an essential manner Does that help? yes okay. thank you fences firehouse garden apartments garden nursery golf course a group care facility. Jamie, going back to garden apartments, is that what type of apartment are you, are you familiar with? Yeah, garden apartments are, are uh, what you might see is like a multi tenant building, large building with um, multiple apartments within that building that can be rented out, They're kind of surrounded by a common garden facility. Uh, sometimes they're multi story, sometimes they're single story, but it's kind of a condensed housing scenario. Um, at least that, those are the things that I've seen. Called garden apartments. And again, there's probably the definition in the ordinance we can look at, okay. uh, but I don't have that in the slideshow tonight. Uh, picking up on the list: home gardening, a home occupation, a home office, keeping of domestic pets, a kennel, uh, mineral removal, mini warehousing or self storage buildings, a mobile home park, non-commercial recreation, a nursery or a greenhouse, a nursing home oil and gas extraction, off-street parking and loading, personal care boarding home, planned residential development, private club, private garages and stored storage buildings, private residential swimming pools and tennis <coughs> boards, private stables, private use helipad, public buildings, <coughs> public recreation, public utility installation, retirement community, schools, signs, single family dwelling, temporary construction trailer, model home or sales office, a temporary use structure other than a construction trailer, model home or sales office, townhouses, two family dwelling, and I think that's the last slide on the zoning list. Um, so to recap, those are all the listed uses that would be permitted naturally in uh, one of those three zoning districts of the current property. Now, we're going to circle back to the very beginning of those slides. If I'll get the up arrow and go back the other way. And I'm going to read off the blue, which are the additional uses that a C2 would allow. That's uh, and again, this is much for the board's benefit as, as anyone else. So we've kind of got it all in front of us here. Uh, so in a C2 district, these are some additional uses that would be permitted on an apartment above office or retail, bakery, a billboard, a business or professional office, business services, candy or ice cream store, oh, I like that one, um, car wash, <laughs> clinic, commercial recreation, commercial school, comparable uses not specifically listed, contracting business, a convenience store, custom crafting, delicatessen, drive-in facilities, financial institutions, funeral home, health club, hospital, Indoor amusement, laundry, dry cleaners, motel slash hotel, personal services, pet grooming, pharmacy, public parking lot or garage, repair shop, restaurant, retail stores, service station, shopping centers, tavern, vehicle accessory sales and installation, vehicle rental, sales and service, Vehicle repair garage. So again, the, the purpose of me sharing this, I believe, was just to give you an overview of what the zoning of that area looks like, the uses that are currently allowed in those districts, 
and then the C2 rezoning that's being considered by the board tonight, what that would add to or change as far as what's allowed on that particular property with respect to Q&A request. Is there anything you'd like me to go back? No, that was, that was perfect. Thank you. That's a good explanation. Thank you. Jamie, do you or Sean have anything else on your engineering report?